All right, so this is the first for me when using a kit. I followed all the instructions, almost. I did change the yeast in here and added some go firm and um, it should be done fermenting, but it's not. After I uh, followed all the instructions, stabilized the wine, back sweetened it, added the reserve, and as soon as I did that, it started to go again. So I'm not entirely sure how to tame the monster at this point in time. The solution for me is simply going to be to wait and hope it stops. Unfortunately, um, some of that back sweetening is probably getting converted to alcohol, so it might be... Uh, Pretty fire water after it's said and done, which is a little bit too bad. I've thought about cold soaking. Uh, I've thought about a number of different things to get this thing to stop fermenting. However, as of right now, I don't have a solution. I'm thinking my best bet based on other wine issues that I've had in the past is just to simply wait, wait it out and see what happens. If there's experts in here, I'm still new, I'm still learning. But if there are experts watching this channel, feel free to chime in, leave your comments down below. I will read them, I will take and uh, do more research on any comments I get and see if uh, maybe I can get this thing to do what I want to. Maybe it was just expired potassium sorbate or something in there, and I do have potassium sorbate, but I think it's too late at this point in time to do that. The hunch I was kind of going to go with is maybe cold soaking it to get it to quit. But uh, in the interest of safety, I think my best bet is just to leave it until it quits. Until it quits cooking, so be patient with it, and then bottle it once it stops. Let me know what you think. And once it does finally turn out and I can have a glass of this stuff, I will let you know how that yeast change ended up working out for me. And when it is finally done, I will have the video documenting the whole process of how this wine was made and I'll follow it up with a tasting as usual. And you guys can let me know what you think uh, with my yeast swap method. See how I did there.